one. This week, the collar is white and the jokes might be a little overstarched. The Tonight Show is sending Jay Leno to the auto yard. And the Duck Dynasty boys might have to change their name to Duck Divas. Tonight, I'm going to strap Pat Crane to a wheel and make him do the show upside down. This is That TV Show, episode 118. You're listening to the podcast for TV geeks everywhere. You're listening to That TV Show with Pat Crane and Jules Scott. Thanks for joining us from all around TV land. My name is Jules Scott. I'm going to be your solo host of the show because I left Pat Crane by the wayside. His technical issues drew us to a blank. Help me! (laughs) Help me! You're upside down, aren't you? I'm upside down! I can't (laughs) do the show like this, buddy! All right, I'm back. You better not. I'm, I'm back. Okay, that I'm was okay. fantastic. Way to go. Way to roll with the punches, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. I, I do my it. best. How are you? <laughs> well, uh, the blood is slowly draining from my head, so I think I'm doing better. I'm, well, you know, if, if you can watch TV upside down, you're doing it right. I think, I think you're doing it wrong if you're doing it like that. I mean, that's, that's hard stuff. I don't you're know. You're really letting it sink in if you're upside down, though. I don't know. I'm so off the rails today. <laughs> You're weird. How are you, Jules? (laughs) I'm great. I'm weird. Um, I'm just, I'm weird. This is how it's going to go tonight. We're just going to make it go. Yeah. (laughs) So we might as well just talk about television in our weird state. Okay. Well, uh, let's maybe warm up a little bit with what we've been watching this week. And so what have you been watching this week? Uh, Jules. This has been such a very cool week of TV because some big uh, shows either ended or started. Yeah. And The Walking Dead had their season finale. And I was a little sad by the ending, not because that guy died, but <laughs> because... The guy was, with the shirt? Yeah, that guy And the boots. The oh, jeez. Yeah, I like that guy. Carrying, he was carrying the gun, too. Oh. I know. But we had a... I don't know. It was kind of an unsatisfying ending. Um, You were kind of hoping for something more. And I won't disclose much because it just aired. I want people to get a chance to view it. But I'm curious to hear from other Walking Dead fans to see how you felt. I was not too thrilled by the ending. Um, But see how it comes back next year. All right. I guess it's next year or probably in the fall. But on that same night, we had Game of Thrones with their premiere. It's been over almost a year since Game of Thrones has been back on the air on HBO. And yeah. I, this is my favorite show. Hands down, anything else on TV I can put to the wayside. But Game of Thrones, don't be messing with my Game of Thrones time. A lot of people really like the old, the old Game of Thrones. And <sighs> um, you could tell because the, the web was like littered with Game of Thrones like yeah. everywhere. Game of Thrones parodies on YouTube and all over the place. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. And, and that was the talk of the town. Yes. And I don't have HBO. I know. And I'm really <laughs> disappointed that you don't watch this show. It's so good. Um, and so we're in season three now. Things are getting pretty, pretty heavy. Right. But there's so many characters in this show right now that you can't see them all in one episode. And so next episode are going to be some of my favorite characters coming back to see them again. Aria. Brienne, Jamie, some of the, my favorite characters are going to be in that show. I'm so excited. So. Every every episode that I've ever seen of it, and I've only seen bits and pieces mm-hmm. of it, but I have always seen my favorite characters on that show. And they are? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Boobs. That's all I got. I, I got nothing else. Show's so. over, you win. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there were plenty. Of, there were definitely good, good selection of boobs in the last one. Not like over the top, though. Awesome. I know. So you're probably going to be disappointed. My favorite in characters. Game of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then I got a chance to watch the following from last week. I have not watched Monday's episode. Whoa. I know. And so I'm, kind, I'm still that one week behind thing that keeps happening because there's been so much good on TV. I know. So, and uh, so I'm still I'm still trying to catch up there. So I'm not quite where you are. I'm betting. Right. Because okay. I am totally caught up now. <laughs> by, and by the way, 
things are are getting a little weird. Now we're getting into okay, so you're caught up to the point where we we're at the house of yes. crazies. Yes. In the following, we, we, the whole house of crazies, and they're all crazy. Yes. And they are. this last week we went a little bit deeper into Roderick's type of crazy, which was nice and strange. Um, but uh, yes, it's it's very weird. Lots of things going on in that show, and wow. Yeah. It, it, you can tell that it's the kind of the like the calm before the storm, though, because they've only got, I think they've got four episodes left now on this season, so the, some stuff's going to happen. Oh, yeah. I mean, the part that I've seen at this point, most of Joe's plan has come into play. He's gotten all of the puzzle pieces into the house, and so now it's a matter of seeing what his major plan is going from here. He's got his wife now there. Yeah. So, and then, you know, you don't, I, I, I'm I anticipating that there's that whole part about her not wanting to be there. But yes. we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see on that one. They have a lovely dinner together. Okay. They, um. Don't you spoil it. The, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to say there's a, there's a dominatrix. Okay. Not. Not in the dinner or not at the dinner. It's a different storyline. But, you know, there's a dominatrix. There's a dinner. So there's a little bit of pleasantries. There's a little bit of, you know, pain. Uh, so it's kind of weird. And then there's this big, huge thing where they go and find this armory place. Some very <laughs> some very interesting storyline happens there. This mm. is compelling description mm-hmm. in here. Oh, I know. It really Tell is. me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, but if you're watching the following, you know what I'm talking about, and and you're like, well, you can't say anything else because it's gonna ruin it for Jules. That's right. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. But so, I, but I kind of okay. want to ruin it. Don't. <laughs> you did it the last time you did this, and I had seen something, and I'm, I'm like, sorry. oh, you I'm totally sorry. said something about all these people and the crazy people in the house, and there's tons of people in the house, and I'm like, no. That was that supposed was, to be the big reveal. And it you was a cool it. reveal. You totally spoiled it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. And so, okay, so now I have to catch up with the following. I'll yeah. do that this weekend for sure. But The Voice, man, I am absolutely, like, I've now seen four episodes of The Voice. It is one of my favorite seasons because the dynamics between the judges is fantastic. Yeah, it's I'm not bad. I'm cracking up at every episode at the dynamic, especially between Blake, Adam, and Shakira. I think that they're great. You don't you don't like uh, Ermiger? Ermiger is just kind of sitting there going, yeah, I'm <laughs> chill. Uh, 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 He's just uh, throwing yeah. his leg up and just kind of hanging out. I know. And that's all he does is sit there He's with good. his leg up like, hey, girl, how right. you doing? <laughs> hey, you know you want to be on my team, right? <laughs> awesome. Come, well, come join Team one- Ermiger. Come on. Come on. Join it. Totally, totally like, you know, hi. I mean, there's that one girl who was like, he just, he opened his mouth for two minutes. She's like, I'm done. I'm yours. Right. Seriously. So, but I am loving it. I think it's fantastic having a blast with it. And I think that Shakira, I've been liking her more and more. She tries really hard to get these people on her team, especially the ones that are the country ones. And they're just like, I'm going to go blick, blick. Right. (laughs) I know. Adam, really? Well, it was kind of it was kind of cool because this week Adam actually stole a country artist from Blake. This week, yes, he did. First time ever. I think that guy was a good. He's going to be like a rock and roll dude too. Uh, I, I I don't know. I mean, I I, I think he's kind of like not the best. So he th- I think he's probably going to go away in the early rounds. But um, you know, it's it. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that guy because I didn't really think all that much of him. That, yeah, he wasn't that great to me, but and yeah. there's a couple of them where I'm like, yeah, they're so excited about you, and I'm I'm not seeing it. But. You know what I was excited about? There were a couple more artists from uh, Minnesota. You know, it's funny you said that because now every single time I see someone who says they're they're from Minnesota, I'm like, oh yeah, Pat's going to mention <laughs> that on the show. Damn straight, I am absolutely. <laughs> there was there was an artist from Minnesota or from Minneapolis, I should say, who <laughs> sang on the street corners, and she didn't make it in, but she made a good showing of it, which was good. And then there was another one from Rose Mount, Minnesota, which yep. is also from the essentially it's from the Twin Cities area, um, kind of the outskirts, and uh, did great. And so I'm I'm just happy to see some some more Minnesota represent. We need a meta game on this show for any like because if, if I get one Wisconsin person, I'm gonna be like, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. 
excited because I'm going to be so. You to all this Minnesota crap, like, oh. I suppose. Come on. You should be like flying your Minnesota flag behind your head on the live stream, I tell you. Uh, I could do that. You could. Probably. I could do that. That'd be yeah. fun. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, I, I've, uh, I definitely took note of that uh-huh. and said, yep, that's going to say something about this. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. But I'm really enjoying the voice. And finally, I just wanted to make a quick note. I've been watching, like, we caught one episode of Breaking Bad. And this episode was just amazing. The acting, I mean, I always talk about how great the acting is. But the whole episode was focused around um, basically Walt and Jesse trying to kill a fly that was stuck inside their lab. And that's not giving anything away to you. Um, But it's this effort to try to kill this fly that is it's comedic it's crazy it's like you're going oh my god really but there's a whole section of that of that episode where walt and jesse have more of a a conversation a deeper conversation and the subtlety of the acting the intensity and just the the ability to court to have a conversation with each other in a way that seems like it's just effortless and deep and amazing. I was, I sat there enthralled by this episode, like, Oh my God, you know why these guys have won awards? Cause they're so amazing. And like all of this in encapsulated around this kind of like comedic farce of an episode where they're trying to capture and kill this fly. And I was just blown away. I love it. I, you know, I wish I had more time to just sit and watch TV all day. Cause man, <laughs> Breaking Bad, I would just eat that up if I could. If I could be a fly on the wall, mm-hmm. they would try to kill me. Yeah. Uh, so there. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. So I, I was trying to come up with something. And I'm like, that sounds like the most bizarre and yet probably cool episode. I, I, don't know. I You will love it when you get around to seeing it. You will <sighs> that, like love that episode. You really will. I, I don't know if I can. I'm watching too much other stuff. I know. Well, like, tell me what else you're uh, watching. So well, okay. So so the wife and I. Yes. Uh, still watching Doctor Who. Yes. I got her to watch Blink. <gasps> and? And she said maybe I talked it up too much. Really? Yeah, maybe. She wasn't as... Oh. She liked it. She, don't get me wrong. She liked it. But she wasn't enthralled by it like I was. I was enthralled by that, by that one show. I was like... Okay. Oh my god, this is so cool. Um, and she was like, that yeah, was good. Okay, so did you guys watch this again? Did you watch this the second time with her? Yeah. So how did it feel the second time around for you? Well, it was different because it wasn't four in the morning and totally dark in the room. So that I still part was can't believe you did that. So that part was different. <laughs> um <laughs> But it was fine. It was good. I liked it. Still. So I mean it's you know, it's fine. And we've got more news about Doctor Who coming up shortly. We do. We'll get to it. Uh, Another thing that we watched this week was Castle. Now, as I said last week, Castle uh, was celebrating its 100th episode, and that was this week. And if you missed it, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was like this rear window spinoff type of thing, and I'm going to ruin it for you. I am now going to ruin it. There will be a spoiler here. (gasps) So we get Castle. We have him looking across the street with the binoculars. Okay. And by the way, Nathan Fillion's birthday was last week. Uh, and it was also Rick Castle's birthday this week on the hundredth oh. episode. So just let nice. you know. Um, and so, uh, you know, it was a few days before his birthday and he was looking through the binoculars and he saw what he thought was a murder. He was like, there is no way there, it, that it can be anything else. And we saw it too. And it was, pretty convincing it was like oh wow that looks like something went down there was a guy in the there was a a couple in the apartment and then the husband came home and you're like oh my god and then the boyfriend hid under the under the bed and then popped up and then went out out, outside and then the husband while the husband was in the bathroom the, the husband comes out of the bathroom and finds the boyfriend's hat on the floor uh-oh. And it's like, oh my God, what is going on? Then the blinds closed and stuff happens and you're like, whoa. So he was freaked out the entire time. <laughs> he had a broken leg from skiing. So he was in a wheelchair for the most part. And um, he decided that he needed to solve this thing. 
And he went on this long, arduous journey to try to solve this, this crime. And at the end of the episode, spoiler, spoiler coming up. <laughs> the end of the episode, we find out it was Kate Beckett's birthday, uh, birthday present to him. <laughs> no. It was Beckett's birthday present. She said, I knew you were bored and I decided to give this to you. And, and he was like, you played me for being D- what are you I love you you know I mean it was just it was one of those things you didn't know which way it was going to go and then he went and he became a bigger fan of hers so it was good, it was <laughs> like, good. He could, like he could become a lesser fan of hers right right uh, another thing that I watched this week for the show yes Splash <gasps> I didn't watch the whole thing what I didn't watch the whole thing what? I watched the end of uh, this week's episode with Kendra Wilkinson uh, totally chickening out. She's afraid of heights, and she and went on this show. Yeah. And she had to do a 10 meter or 5 meter dive, which oh, is man. pretty high up, or 10 meter. I don't remember which it was. I think it was 5 meter or 7 and a half. I don't, who cares? It was high up enough so that she freaked out and she couldn't do it, and she ended up dis- disqualifying herself. Oh, man. So she's out of there. Because she decided that she couldn't do the dive. I wouldn't do the dive. I would totally do the dive. (laughs) I would do anything. I would jump off a building into a pile of water. That'd be fine. What? Into a pile of water. What? I'd I'd do it. I've done it. I've done it. But I've I've jumped off of things that were very, very high. (laughs) Yeah, you're such a thrill seeker. I I am. I totally am. (laughs) I've done bungee jumping. I've wanted to do skydiving. I've done uh, bridge jumping. What? Bridge jumping. Wow. You know, you know, uh, around the Twin Cities, we have these things called lakes. And so then <laughs> what we do is there are bridges that go over them. And actually, I've jumped off of the highest bridge uh, on Lake Minnetonka into probably about 10 feet of water at the time. Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but uh, I've done it. No. I've done it. You're going to wind and up I've on survived. one of those America's dumbest shows. Yeah, hold on one second. Um, this thing screwed up again. Hold on. Scratched out. Okay. Yeah. Da 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 da. Okay, that was dumb. All right, let's start this thing up again. Uh, so yeah, no, I've totally done it, and I'm okay with it. Okay. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Uh, it's it's true. Uh, okay, now here's a question that I have for you. Yes. Which do you and and actually this is not just for you. This is for everybody. Okay. Out there, the, I, everybody listening to this show. Now, if you are a fan of music competition shows, right? Which one is your favorite and why? Do you I... like The Voice or do you like American Idol? Which one do you like better? Which one do you uh, like least? Uh, there's, we could also throw in X factor into that equation if you really want to, or, or something along those lines. Um, and it's, it's funny. The voice is on Monday and Tuesday nights, right? Idol is on Wednesday and Thursday nights. Yes. They never cross paths. (laughs) They don't want to cross paths. And I think that goes for both shows. They, they're, they just are like, no, we don't want to compete straight up with you. Well, that, yeah, because otherwise one's going to blow the other out of the water. Yeah. So, uh, I, I'm so sick of Mariah Carey, though. I know. I know you are, because I, I, I get to hear about it all week, which is I, kind of funny. I am so sick of it. And uh, Lazaro, our stuttering friend, he really needs to go. So I was listening to tonight before, before the show. I was uh-huh. watching American Idol a little bit. Okay. And it was and it's rock week. By the way, it's horrible. Is it really bad? It's horrible. There's only like a few people that really get what rock is. And and I think that all these theme nights and everything, they're okay, but they're not really showcasing their their talents very well. I mean, 
you have people that are really great at R and B, at uh, maybe more Latin stylings, maybe something a little bit different, and then you force them into this little niche, and you say, "Here, struggle with this, and we'll see which one which one of you is worst." Yeah, it's like you're trying to make an all around artist when most artists who have contracts don't actually have to be all around. Yeah. And skilled in all around. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, just how about this? Sing something you like, make it really, really good, and uh, appease the audience. Hey, yeah. I mean, that's a, a, that's a unique concept, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. That's the problem with American Idol, and it's been like that for years, yeah. is that they have to go through these theme nights, and someone's going to have a, an off night based on what they're being forced to sing. Like, um, I'm trying to think about who it was. Um, but there have been numerous amounts of idols or, or, or I, near idols, I guess, that have, I think Jennifer Hudson mm-hmm. uh, was cut on country night. <sighs> and it's like, well, yeah, she doesn't sing country. How, how could she know how to sing country and make it sound really awesome when she doesn't know it? Exactly. It's, it's silly. And yeah. I don't, I don't like the, that's why I don't watch idol. Right. So there you go. All right. Well, we should get um, we should get into the main attraction for this week and head into the watch list. 